wonder if you're at high risk for a heart attack or stroke? Well, you have the opportunity to find out. We are here at Metro Health Hospital, and we're talking with Dr. Eric Walchek, a cardiovascular specialist. We're talking about PAD. Can you first explain what that is? Well, PAD is a condition where people develop hardening of the arteries, usually through accumulation of cholesterol, into making blockages in the legs, arms, or neck. Okay. There is an opportunity for PAD screening this weekend, and it's free. And we're actually seeing some screening right here. Can you just explain the pro process to us, doctor? Yeah, screening for PAD is painless and quick. You essentially get blood pressure cuffs and Doppler measurements of your blood flow mm -hmm. in the arms and the ankles. They should be the same, but if there's a drop in pressure down at the ankles, it shows that there's blockage usually in the legs. Okay, so exactly who's at risk for PAD? Um, most commonly, people that are over age 70 and people that are between the ages of 50 to 70 who are diabetic or a smoker. Okay, and symptoms, if people are seeing this, they may be a little concerned that they need to get checked out. Mm -hmm. What would they be? Most of the time, the symptoms are exertional, so when they're walking, their legs don't get enough blood flow, and they get cramping, aching, or heaviness, mm -hmm. sometimes coldness. Okay. And so, as you had said, it's pain-free. Um, if something is found within the screening, what's the next step in making sure a patient is healthy? They usually will follow up on their family doctors, and it can vary between just more aggressive medical therapy to prevent the heart attacks and strokes down the road to non minimally invasive stent procedures or surgical procedures to bypass the blockage. Mm -hmm. As with all good health, we like to talk about prevention and making sure that you stay really healthy. What can a person do to make sure that they do not become at risk? Stop smoking, number one. Number we two. like that one. <laughs> That's right. That is one of the hugest risk factors that people can control. Uh -huh. uh, after that, making sure your blood sugars, blood pressure, and cholesterol numbers are where you want them. Mm -hmm. Is it a good idea that if you are concerned and maybe have a little bit of a history of someone in your family, or perhaps yourself, with some problems to get screened? It's a real nice way to sort of risk stratify yourself, to know if you're mm -hmm. a high-risk person that's going to have a, a short-term higher risk of bad problems. Okay. Oh, or if you don't have that issue in the legs. Okay. It's nice yeah, especially if the screening is free. free. Doesn't hurt to go and get yourself checked out. And so that is coming up actually this Saturday. If you have questions in addition for PAD, we do have a session that we're going to tell you about in just a minute that's coming up tonight. You can talk with a professional. We are at Metro Health Hospital. Check out that more information. And September is PAD Awareness Month, so Metro Health is offering you the opportunity to learn more about the disease tonight from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Metro Health Professional Building at 2122 Health Drive. You'll get to talk with a specialist, have your questions answered. The session is free, and everyone is welcome. And then this Saturday from 8 to noon, they'll be doing free pad screening at Metro Health Hospital. The address, 5900 Byron Center Avenue, Southwest in Wyoming. You're asked to register because limited space is available. We've got the number for you, 252-7117, to get this free non-invasive screening. Ask if, ask if you are at risk for, uh, for PAD. Yeah, so wonderful and very important to uh, have that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, 